I'm just kidding. I told my cameraman Jay to go, and I did that for effect, but it's not true. I knew you were there, and I know you're watching. Eric Chesson, founder of Autism Fitness here with your movement of the moment. What I'm going to do first is stand up, because I've been sitting for about 14 seconds, and that's way too long for me. So, what we're going to do today together, get your medicine balls, get your sand bells, and here we go. It's the overhead walk. One of my favorite activities for my athletes on the autism spectrum, and all athletes in general, unless they have a shoulder issue, kind of like I do right now, but I'm still going to do it anyway with a light weight. It's an overhead walk, so our prerequisites, meaning the foundations that we need in order to perform this activity safely and effectively, are full extension overhead here, not back here, not using our lower back, but just getting overhead in line right here, and the ability to locomote, meaning moving our feet forward. So once you have that ambulation and that pressing, we can go. Like my buddy Bill Meyer of Meyer Fitness says, once you've got the movement, add locomotion, and that's what we're doing here. So the overhead walk, what I'm going to do first, press my medicine ball overhead, and then begin walking. I usually like between 10 and 20 feet. I'm going to turn around, overhead walk back. And I'll do this maybe three to five times with one of my athletes with a lighter weight. It's a great warm-up activity. With a heavier weight, it's a really, really good focus activity. What are we building? Let's find out. We're building shoulder stability and upper body strength. We're building strength and endurance. We're also building some coordination. All things that are really darn good and all things that are really important for physical functioning in many different environments and situations. So I can use my Dynamax medicine ball. I can also use, if I want to get a little bit heavier, one of these here sand bells from Hyperware. So what I'm going to do, same movement, over again, press overhead, walk to my target. You can use a cone, you can use a spot marker. Whatever you want to do for a target, walking back. You're never supposed to put your back to the camera, but really had no choice there. I'm a one camera kind of guy. So we got your sand belt, got your medicine ball, the two steps again. Hold the chest, arms up, overhead walk. Now the way we can cue this for our athletes on the autism spectrum, we don't need a lot of directions. Again, we always want to keep our verbal cues to four words or less. I'm glad I didn't put up the wrong finger there. So, arms up, overhead walk. What do you know? It's four words right there. So that is the overhead walk with a medicine ball or a sand mill. I'm Eric Chesson, founder of Volunteerism Fitness. I hope you found this helpful. I hope even more that you find it effective. Check out autismfitness.com and my YouTube page for more stuff just like this.